If you have a full basement, there's about a 60% chance it's wet as we speak. That of course leads to all sorts of problems like mold, air quality, and potentially having to tear things out. Why is that? Well, basements used to be just cellars where you stored coal and shoveled into the furnace and no one really cared if it was damp. The problem is practice hasn't caught up. And so we do a couple things that help keep the basement perfectly dry that um, not other, many other people are doing. The first is um, a capillary break on top of the footing to help prevent water from getting basically sucked up into the foundation wall. The second thing we do is a capillary break around the entire foundation wall to help prevent water from getting in if the foundation cracks and foundations always crack. So above and beyond the damp proofing or the waterproofing, which is pretty typical, we add this uh, dimple board or capillary break. What it does is creates a drainage plane so even if water gets in, it just drains down to the drain tile. And so even if your basement cracks, you're not going to have a problem with water infiltration. So between those two things, the basement should stay dry and comfortable for at least 100 years. Venting is crucial to keep masonry dry. What can happen if you don't have proper venting is water is going to sit against your CMU and it's going to get in. Of course, cause problems with mold and air quality and you might have to rip everything out. So what's done is an air gap is provided between this course of brick and the CMU and then it's allowed to drain out down here through these vents. The problem is masonry isn't a clean operation so oftentimes the mortar will plug up these vents. So what we do is we put in this mortar net that keeps the grout away from the vents and allows water and air to get in between the bricks to keep it dry. I want to demonstrate why we use the cell vent instead of the typical rope. As I mentioned, it's really important for water to have a path out once it gets in. And cell vent allows water to get out and of course air to get in to dry out any water that did get in. So you can see here, let's say this is a really bad rainstorm. You can see the path the water takes out the cell vent that it wouldn't be able to take if there was rope down there or if they were blocked up in any way, for instance, if we weren't using the mortar net.